I got, uh, I'm Jay with Fast RC, and today we're working on this 1968 Mustang deal, all right? So, one of the things, the cool things about this car that we're gonna be doing is we're trying to capture some of the realistic aspects of what this style car brings, actually. If you look at both to any, a lot of different renditions of the 68 Mustang, but for me, the, my, my favorite aspects were of the shell that's number one, number two, these little functions here, such as the, the hook scoops, the side scoops and things of that nature. Well, we cut that up, out and I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna make these functional, look like functional side scoops on the either side of it. Also, one of the things we're getting ready to do, we're gonna take these, take flashlights. This is one of them right here. I'm gonna take this flashlight and I'm gonna show you how to use this light to create a headlight in this car. That's gonna be super bright and very effective. We already actually did one side here and um, got it set in. Now we just gotta set it in with blue. But the uh, other aspect, and for actually for reference sake, I'll show you how bright it is. It's very bright, all right? So this light, this other side is gonna come in here like that and it's gonna work beautifully, okay? So this is gonna be a different build than what you normally see from most individuals, but that's what makes fast RC, fast RC. So one of the other things we're gonna do, we're also gonna take this small light right here, and we're gonna go ahead and set it in here, just like so, okay? And it's gonna come out as well, all right? So one of the things that gonna make this unique is because I'm trying to capture, when I do a build, I like to try to capture as many aspects of the actual car for that particular period as I possibly can. One of the things they used to do, they used to have the, uh, the grill delete on the inside grill. I don't wanna use that sticker. What we're gonna do here in a few seconds is we're gonna go ahead and mark off where we're gonna cut this. Do our grill delete, create an air box, close it off, because we don't want air getting into the, bo into the body as we're going at high speed. So we're gonna close that off, but we also want it to look like a functional piece as it was period correct. So that said, let me go ahead and get to the build. So one of the things we gotta do first is we need to measure how far we want, it, we want this cut to come in from the inside grill. So earlier I look at, I think I'm gonna do an inch and a half on this side and an inch and a half on this side. Okay, so we're gonna, well, I know where I'm gonna make my marks at. So now what I need to do is go ahead and cut. Gonna go ahead and mark off that inch and a half from here. Mark that off there. And then inch and a half here. Mark off there. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and figure a way to go ahead and get straight line right here. Doesn't have to be too straight because I'm gonna clean it up with the Dremel. But for reference sake, I just wanna go ahead and get me a nice little line as clean as I possibly can make it, bam. Bam, it's a little tricky getting in here because of this and that and all that. So, here, in here, okay, now. I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna take a look at this, okay? Because on the outside of the part that's not gonna be cut, we're gonna set lights in here, like so. So you're gonna have a light here, and then you're gonna have a light here. Okay, so just for that we say, we'll do a little, little bit of a rendition of a light there. Not the best, but you get the idea. Okay, so and we're gonna open it up. Now, this style that I'm thinking about, it puts me in the mind of the 1968 Cheryl GT500, or excuse me, the GT350. 
uh, which was the, the, the Cobra. All right, and so one of the first. They had that open grill back then, things of that nature. So I like that. I love those cars, and I want to see if I can actually make this happen with this particular car. You know, so without actually compromising performance, all right, because we want to be able to get this thing to haul ass. This, guy, this is actually, by the way, for all you purists out there, this is the Arma Vendetta, okay? I'm running, took the, the, the 3S system off, and for now, we're running a TP2700, and we're running the Mamba X. However, we're getting ready to take that off in favor of the Monster X, which is an 8S setup. So we're gonna put that on here, and we're gonna run a TP2700 can. So if all works to my favor, it should fit and give me at least half inch of room uh, left to spare. Okay, so I'm gonna get this big scan on here and we're gonna throw six S at it, maybe eight if it'll take it and uh, see if it goes. So now, back to the Mustang. So I'm gonna put this on here now and I'm gonna go ahead and commit. Okay. I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna start with the round tool first. Don't wanna go ahead and go with the blade. I could, but I don't wanna risk of run the risk of, 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 of uh, cutting into the bumper or the hood. So that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and commit to it. Here it is. Done. Done deal. Now that we have the hole built, we have the, we have the uh, inside grill cut, which is going to act as a leak. We'll go ahead and start focusing on the body. Looking at this, might want to go ahead and come out maybe another eighth inch on either side, make it a little bit wider. But for now, this is basically what we want to do. And get the other light cut, we'll be ready to go ahead and put some color on it and we can finish it up. Okay guys, we're back. We got the, uh, we're going to call this the Shelby. We got the Shelby, got the lights in, set in here. So basically it looks a little weird, like kind of new age, like 
basically, if you got a Mustang, you want to put some aftermarket lights on it, that's what it looks like now. But we're going to break down this in, okay? So one of the things you got to consider is that what's really making it stand out is the fact that there's these black headlight bezels. Well, these bezels, I mean, the car's going to be red. These bezels are also going to be red as well. So that's going to just basically highlight the clear part of the headlight. So that part right there will shrink the size of that headlight dramatically. So I'm not really worried about that. Also, if you look, we got this part here done. Now, getting this part done is extremely important because now we'll build the box once we get this done, okay? So ultimately, the next step in this whole build is to go ahead and get some color on this car. All right, so don't really know what I'm gonna do with these lights yet. We're gonna be searching for some type of headlight tail light that we can use here. All right, but for the most part, we'll probably wanna use something like this right here. And if we get some mini LEDs to go behind it, that would be cool. These little uh, trailer reflectors will probably work wonders here. Cut some of those, get those in there, and then go from there. So uh, chances are we'll probably leave these clear. Uh, if not, we've got stickers to go with it as well. So one or two, I mean, you don't really want to go too ham with it. I think we're going ham enough, but um, getting the color on is really going to play a uh, pay dividend for us. Now, we're going to go ahead and tape off the clear, paint the bezels, and get this thing ready for paint. I'll be see you back, back in a minute. When it comes back, she'll be red and white, and then we can go ahead and finish up with the other aspects of the build. Okay, right, we're back. Got some color on it now. I actually got the lights sitting in so far, and so far so good. I mean, I'm actually loving what I'm seeing here with it. Uh, I had a few little bleeds there on, on the side, but that's okay, we're gonna fix that tomorrow. But overall, I'm actually blown away at how good this is coming out. I mean, it's looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, the color's right on, spot on. The stripes will be spot on, and tomorrow we'll go ahead and focus on the vents, on the doors. But all in all, I mean, I'm loving everything about this car, the stance, uh, what I'm seeing here. I actually remember this has been cut out, so we're gonna put a light here. We're gonna do one over here. Probably need to go ahead and bring this in just a little bit more here, but overall, I'm just exa absolutely ecstatic about how this is coming out. I was turning out and uh, performance wise, I know it's gonna be, it's gonna match what you see here. This is absolutely an unbelievable build. Every time I do one, it feels as if I'm doing something better than I did the last time. So um, next thing we gotta do, probably get the smaller lights to set in and fix the stripes, get this off to here and work on the vents and the shed will be able to be done. Talk to you next week.